Here I have two very interesting Bosendorfer pianos. As you can see, these are brand new Bosendorfers, and these are limited edition pianos. Uh, this is the Dragonfly Bosendorfer. If you look on the underside of the labels, you can probably see you have all these intricate uh, wooden inlays, and there's some flowers and dragonflies. There's one right there. And uh, these are very limited edition pianos. There are only 18 of the Dragonfly pianos in the world, and then behind me is the Butterfly Edition, which is even rarer. There's only nine of them, I believe. Let me double check that. Uh, yes, this is number seven of nine of the Butterfly Bosendorfers in the world. When I went to NAMM 2016, they had one of these up on a pedestal in the big Bosendorf room, and you could only look at it, you couldn't play it, so that was kind of neat. And now I have the opportunity to play it. And uh, one thing I have to say about both of these pianos is the actions are absolutely sublime as well as the sound. It's the traditional Bosendorfer sound. It's very delicate, very light. I like to think of it as like a glass-like tone. It's very thin, but it also is very responsive and uh, it's a really nice sound. Actions are great, very smooth. So I'm gonna come over here and play a little bit of uh, the first movement of Moonlight Sonata on the Bosendorfer 200 Butterfly Edition. absolutely wonderful to play. As I said, the actions are absolutely great and they're very light, they're very smooth, and they're so wonderful to play on. And I thoroughly enjoy playing on these pianos. Here are some close-up shots of the undersides of the lid of the incredibly rare uh, Butterfly Bosendorfer as well as the Dragonfly Bosendorfer. Uh, you can see the really beautiful, colorful inlaid woods. There's some really awesome flowers, and the butterflies and dragonflies look really, really great. Uh, one of my favorites on the Butterfly piano was this beautiful yellow swallowtail. It looks really realistic and really nice. Uh, the colors are great and uh, it's amazing the details they were able to put into these flowers and insects just with inlaid wood. I believe they used special uh, techniques using sand and whatnot to get these special color gradients in the woods. I read that somewhere, I forget where. But these pianos are incredibly beautiful and if you're luckily, lucky enough to buy one of these, you're able to have an extremely beautiful and an extremely rare uh, piano as well as an awesome work of art.